name is Andreas Agostin and I'm going to introduce the latest generation of Filbus barriers to you. To enable you to fully capture the benefits that the new solution will bring to you, we will take a look at this junction box representing a typical arrangement using the previous generation of Filbus barriers. The compartment on the left contains the covered EXE trunk terminals as well as EXDE isolating switches. There is one switch for each field bus barrier. The switch uses the protection methods EXE and EXD and allows you to disconnect a field bus barrier while the segment is live and without affecting the other barriers. A field bus barrier is a field mountable unit that converts the high energy on the trunk into four intrinsically safe spurs where the field instruments are connected to. The EXE trunk terminals are under a cover as well, as without it you would not even be allowed to open the junction box at all due to the mixture of EXE and EXI. Each field bus segment requires two field bus terminators, one in the control room and one in the field. The terminators have two main functions. They eliminate electrical echo that would otherwise occur particularly on long cables and they play a major role shaping the digital signal for proper communication. Even though field bus barriers have a terminator built in, an external one is put into use so that any of the field bus barriers can be replaced while still having the box properly terminated. This terminator is of particular type. Additionally to the terminator function, it has a surge protector built in that protects the electronic of the field bus barrier. To fully protect the field bus barriers from surges, surge protectors are connected on the spurs as well. They protect against damage due to the rising ground potential caused for example by a lightning strike. Basic surge protection such as built into field bus barriers or other electrical equipment can't protect against such levels. They also protect field instruments provided they are within approximately 50 meters horizontally and 5 meters vertically. For longer distances, use the type of surge protector that screws into a spare cable gland entry or the pass-through type if you only have one cable gland entry available at the field instrument. The terminal blocks on the surge protector are removable but without retaining screws. Side conditions require however terminal blocks that are fixed in place but still removable in case a terminal got damaged or corroded. To achieve this, a separate set of terminal blocks are used to provide removable but yet fixable terminals. All these components involved in this assembly need to be interconnected by wires, which complicate servicing and replacement. Surge protection must be considered right from the start, as it will not be possible to introduce surge protection later when the box is in place. As a result, all junction boxes with field bus barriers are customized leading to increased cost in engineering, manufacturing and procurement. Allow me to introduce the latest generation of Filbus barriers. It is a masterpiece of engineering, taking into account all additional requirements previously discussed. The monolithic design features a backplane mountable modular system, with all components being hot workable meaning all parts can be replaced while the field bus segment is powered. The key element for live workability in this extraordinary design is an EXDE certified plug socket system consisting of a volcano shaped dome and a matching plug. Once inserted, the arrangement becomes EXD and the electrical contact is designed in EXE so that any spark that may potentially occur are contained within the arrangement. Let us take a closer look at the new field bus barrier. On the left is the trunk terminal assembly with terminals for trunk in, trunk out and grounding options. The trunk terminal assembly needs to be opened only for the installation of the trunk cable. At all other times it remains covered by a screw on lid. Attached to the trunk terminal assembly and pre-wired to the trunk is a terminator and a surge protector. The surge protector can be fitted as and when needed. This provides the flexibility needed in projects where the risk of surges is unknown or low. Next to the trunk terminal assembly 
is a backplane for either one or two Philbus barrier modules, providing connectivity for up to 6 or 12 spurs. The version for 12 spurs is equally well suited for smaller applications with only few spurs, as only one barrier module can be fitted initially and the second module later when the plant undergoes an expansion. Imagine what time and cost savings this solution will bring you compared to the previous generation when the plant is eventually expanded. Since EXDE disconnect switches and special maintenance procedures are no longer required, the risk of wrongly performing maintenance tasks is completely eliminated, which significantly improves the safety of the whole plant. The terminal blocks for the spur connections are removable and with retaining screws. This allows the spur cable to be held in place and also allows to replace the terminal block when the screw is broken, making the need for additional terminal blocks obsolete. Worth mentioning is that the terminal blocks are of standard size and polarity, so that the popular Philbus Tester FPT6 and other handheld tools can be plugged right onto the terminal blocks. The field bus barrier module will by itself indicate shorts from plus or minus conductor to shield on a spur, which is one of the most frequent problems found in field bus installations. This was previously only possible using the FPT6, and using test leads it was a tedious task to perform. Removing or adding a field bus barrier module is child's play. To remove a module, simply open the three screws, which by the way are spring-loaded for easy maintenance, and pull the module to the first stop before releasing the latch to allow you to fully remove the module. Plugging it back is even simpler. Then tighten the three screws and the module is ready to go, without any interruption to the other module. Even for smaller projects with few instruments per segment, the 12 spur version can be used with only one module fitted. When needed, simply add on the second module and you have six more spurs available within a couple of seconds. Having six spurs per module matches actual plant requirements a lot better than four spurs. Today's mega projects typically use 12 spurs, so you reduce the number of modules from 3 to 2 and increase reliability by 30%. Did you notice how the trunk connection is done? It takes place over the EXDE plug socket system, so that the previously needed EXE compartment on the barrier module itself is completely eliminated. Again, a great boost for operational safety, since the operator will not have any chance to wrongly access the EXE cabling. The spurs frequently require surge protection as well. The solution on the new Philbus barrier is as simple as it is ingenious. A small surge protector module that plugs right onto the back plane and has a connector on top for the spur cable. First unmount the spur cable, then plug the spur protector module in, tighten the retaining screws and the large screw on the back for down conducting the surge to the local ground. Then plug your spur cable back and tighten the retaining screws and you are done. Within less than 10 minutes you can equip all 12 spurs with surge protection. If your spurs are longer than 50 meter horizontally or 5 meter vertically, we recommend to mount a screw in type surge protector right into your field instrument as well. Can you see how all the interconnected wiring between modules, surge protectors and terminal blocks is eliminated? The backplane based solution provides you with higher flexibility, reliability and safety, and this at even reduced size and weight making mounting it a fun task your installers will fight over. The advanced high-energy trunk solution from MTL provides a new level of safety, reliability and cost reduction. The design with flexibility in numbers of spurs and surge protection reduces the engineering and enables earlier production startup, and this at even further reduced size and weight so that complicated mounting racks are a thing of the past. For further information visit our website mtl-ins.com.